What is up party people? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeremy if you're new here. This is La Comida Jeremy where we talk about vegan food, show you recipes, and all that good stuff. So today I wanted to bring you guys a video that you guys have been requesting ever since I was in New York City last weekend. Last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Um, basically I wanted to show you guys all the cool places that I went to. And these are places that I've been drooling over on Instagram. The last time I went to New York I didn't have really much time to go out to these places so I decided this time around I would book a hotel room and spend the whole day in Brooklyn and Manhattan and just try all of the, the delicious things that these cities have to offer. Um, I honestly just like creating these for you guys because I know when I'm going online on social media and on YouTube I want to be looking for restaurants and new things to do so this is why I like to share my travels and the foods that I eat so that when you guys go to these cities you can also go and visit some places that I went to and also hear my honest review because I know I honestly hate spending money on bad vegan food so without further ado we're gonna get into this video we're gonna watch it together I have my laptop here so Let's pull up this video and I'm gonna narrate what we ate and where I went to and all the cool things about these places. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first spot that we went to was Screamer's Pizzeria. This is such a good place. I honestly was annoyed at first about like how tiny this spot was, but sticking to the true New York City style pizzeria and especially knowing like my upbringing going to pizzerias in New York City, Pizzerias are never big, they never have seating for everybody, and they always have like display in the front. So this pizzeria, I just honestly love that the setup was like this. It's very true to its history, and they had different styles for you to choose from in the front, and you can also make pizza um, pies to be ordered. They also have like nutritional yeast and oils for you to decorate your pizza with. So I went for the old school, the margarita, and the buffalo. Good choices overall. I'm not really into like meaty pizza, so these were the ones for me. The buffalo was kind of spicy, I will say, but it was one of my favorite ones. I think this is like my second favorite, but it was super spicy, but the cheese on it was very much appreciated. The next one that I got was the margarita pizza. Um, I think this one was my least favorite as well as my mom's least favorite, but it was super good and just very true to margarita style pizzas, mozzarella, a nice little sweet marinara sauce, and some basil leaves on it. And yeah, just this New York City style pizza is true New York City style pizza. And the last one that I got was the old school one. White sauce, garlic cloves, red onions. Honestly, this one was my favorite. It's so good and I highly recommend visiting Screamer's Pizzeria. It's honestly so worth it. Right next to it, I had never heard of this place, but it's basically called Van Lewin, I wanna say. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it's pretty much an ice cream shop. I think they have regular ice cream as well as vegan ice cream, and the picture outside is what caught my attention. And then when I went inside, I actually forgot to order the way it was in the picture, so I basically just got a sundae. So it was a vanilla, I think. I honestly don't remember what kind of ice cream I got. I think it might have been the chocolate chip dough ice cream with vegan fudge on top. Oh my god, I'm not an ice cream fan, but this was so good. And honestly, it does have like slight coconut flavor, which I hate because I'm not really the biggest fan of coconut unless it's like in a pina colada. But it was super good and I highly recommend. They are a little pricey though. Like I think for a scoop it was like five bucks. So it's pretty expensive, but I just appreciated that they had whipped cream, they have vegan chocolate chip cookies, they have vegan fudge. So if you're gonna go that route, I think it honestly is worth it to spend a little bit extra money on vegan ice cream. Especially, it's like a boutique style, so you're definitely paying for the experience. And they also have coffee on hand, so I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, but basically, this is right next to Scrimmage Pizzeria, so you can get your pizza and your dessert at the same time, and I highly recommend it. So the next day we decided to go to Champ's Diner. This was honestly the best decision that I could have ever made for breakfast. I was trying to look for like different breakfast spots but I honestly couldn't find any that were serving like breakfast foods. Everything was like more lunch food and I really wanted like pancakes or something sweet. So I went ahead and we went to Champ's Diner and this was like the perfect decision. They have a full vegan menu, so many things to choose from. I will say they are kind of pricey so like if you're balling on a budget this might not be the best place to go unless you want to probably split a meal with somebody. But I was on vacation so I decided to splurge a little bit. My mom got the regular Belgian waffle with whipped cream and fruit and she loved this guy. This was like I think her favorite meal out of the whole day that we spent in New York City. So that one waffle was pretty damn good. I've had vegan waffles before and you can tell that they're vegan. Um, but this one is so worth it but very expensive. I think it's like 16 bucks. So. 
you're definitely spending money. So for me, I decided to go with the chicken and waffles and the biscuit. And the reason why I got the biscuits is because I wanted to try because a lot of vegan biscuits are just not good. They taste like baking soda. And also, I knew that I wasn't going to eat my, all my food, so I decided to get that biscuit to put my seitan chicken in. Oh my god, guys. This seitan chicken is so freaking good. This is like the best seitan chicken that I've ever, ever had as a vegan. The only issue that I had is that the skin falls off like really easily, but other than that, this was so damn good. The waffles, perfect. And then I got myself a chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip cookie was A1, 100%. Highly recommend it. And the biscuit, I ate that for breakfast the next day at my grandma's house. So good. Chick-fil-A style, worth it. Go visit Champ Diner on your next Brooklyn trip. You won't regret it. So after we visited the Frida Kahlo exhibit at the Brooklyn Arts Museum, we decided to head on over to Whole Foods Market in Williamsburg, and they have something called chickpea and olive. So we headed on over to Whole Foods. This is one of the most nicest Whole Foods that I have ever been to, and I've been to a lot of Whole Foods in California, New York, Connecticut, Tennessee, um, I think one in Georgia. I've been to so many. Um, so chickpea and olive is stationed inside of Whole Foods. Chickpea and olive is their own thing. So when you're paying, you're paying them, not paying at the cash register. So please keep that in mind before you walk away with your food. Right next to that was a pizzeria from Whole Foods. And my mom actually chose a vegan pizza. She didn't even know it was vegan. She just chose it. And after the lady was heating it up, she didn't notice that it was vegan. So it was like just arugula tomato pizza. And that's like one of her favorite things to eat. And for me, I decided to go for the oyster po' boy sandwich. I love oyster mushrooms and I love po' boys. So this was definitely for me. I wish I would've recorded this when the lady had put the cream on top of it because we walked around Whole Foods for a little bit and everything got like melted. So um, it looks not as pretty in the picture in the video, but definitely, definitely worth it. We took a little tour around Whole Foods because I love visiting different Whole Foods because they tend to sell foods from like local vendors such as like breads from local bakers, they have pastas, they have different vegan cheeses. So definitely when you're going to Whole Foods, check out different cities because they always offer local products that you probably won't find at your local Whole Foods. I went for the po' boy like I said and a side of mac and cheese and my mother got the pizza. This stuff is so damn good. I loved how crispy it is. I make oyster po, po boys at home, but they don't turn out as crispy because I don't have a deep fryer. And I can put them in the air fryer and I can fry them in like a pot, but they just don't turn out as crispy. So whenever I travel, I love to find a spot that's selling them because I know they're gonna have the deep fry and they're gonna perfect this. And honestly, this sandwich was 100. Like, if you have the chance to go to Chickpea and Olive, highly recommend it. Okay, and for the final spot we went to was Ramen Hood. Ramen Hood is basically a pop-up in New York City. It's originally stationed in California, but they've been in New York City for a while. I believe that their last week is this week or next week in New York City. But before I went, I decided to look up Ramen Hood and they actually announced that they were extending their stay through March. They're supposed to finish at the end of February, I believe. So I was like, darn it, I'm gonna be gone. I mean, I'm not gonna be there before they leave. So I decided to check out their Instagram and they announced that they would be staying for a little bit longer. So I was so happy. So I was able to check it out. So I went for the spicy ramen with the vegan egg because everyone hypes up this vegan egg and I wanted to know how it tasted because I haven't really had a vegan egg like this. I've had just egg and I've had other like tofu scrambles and stuff but I've never had an egg that looks like an actual egg. So I wanted to give it a try. So the ramen is definitely spicy, super spicy. So I didn't add like any extras. I'm usually adding sriracha's or hot chili to like my Asian dishes or any other dish because I just love spice. But this one is something that you honestly don't need to add any spice to because it's honestly at that level high of spiciness. And honestly, this was just a bowl of goodness. The noodles were like perfectly thick, like I like my noodles. And the broth was so freaking tasty and super spicy, but still you can taste that lovely sunflower seed base. It was just so good. Perfectly made, highly recommend. Honestly, this whole video I recommend, but definitely Ramen Hood, if you get the chance to go in, in California, I definitely think you should go because it's definitely worth the amount that they charge for this. The vegan egg, honestly, didn't really taste like a vegan egg or like an egg. Um, the yolk was very yolky, I will say. I don't know what they put into it, but the yolk is very yolky and there's like a lot of flavor in there. 
The white part was more like a jello, like it reminded me of like gelatin, um, very gelatinous, but honestly it's a pretty cool thing. I don't know if I would do it again. Um, the yolk I would like, the yolk is pretty good, I would dip like toast into it, but other than that I don't think I would purchase it again because it is two bucks. Um, so I'm just a ramen person in general, so I would definitely purchase the ramen by itself. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and that you guys try out some new vegan restaurants. If you're a non-vegan and you're wanting to try out some restaurants and you're in the New York City area, I definitely recommend visiting some of these places, especially Champs Diner. I think that's the perfect spot to bring people who are non-vegans because they have familiar foods that you grew up eating or that you're currently eating and you will see that the food is just as delicious as you were eating before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and found this helpful. If you guys have any recommendations for cities I should visit, restaurants I should travel to, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. Tag me on Instagram. I would love to add them to my travel list. And yeah, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. And follow me on all my social medias at La Comida Jeremy, LaComidaJeremy.com. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.